Hey everyone, welcome to my um, channel, Jaden D Zero. Yeah, this is this is me right here. Yeah, this yeah. The reason I'm wearing this is because I don't really like showing my face, and yeah, <laughs> for personal reasons. But yeah, that's just it's just it's just me. Yeah, I'm just the lighting's horrible, camera's horrible. But you know, I guess it's 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 my first video thing where I actually in person or whatever you want to call it. So for the, today's video, I'm just going to be doing a, a reaction kind of ish thing with my comment section. Um, as you can see right in front of you, um, several comments. I'm just going to be reacting and you know, replying back, not like actually typing, but actually saying it in the video. And if you're featured, you know, shout out to you, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. It could be either negative or positive comments. So it doesn't really matter. You know, any kind of comment is a good comment for my, in my opinion. So uh, as long as you're interacting with the person, you know, it's, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. So, um, uh, yeah, let's get right into it. Let's just, just, let's just jump right into it. What Philip DeFranco says. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, I'm so corny. I'm so cheesy. All right. So. Senpai says, I'm not really a Yandere fan, but I love stories. Yeah, me too, dude. I love stories. This is why I make those stories, because I, I'm glad that you enjoyed my kind of content. Um, I don't know what that is. I'm just, oh, oops, I accidentally liked, loved it, but it's whatever. It's cool, I guess. Is it bad that I'm kind of into Yandere? I just feel like if someone loves you so much that they stalk you, I just think that it's very flattering. But if you murder people, that's a deal breaker. Yeah, dude, that that's a real deal breaker. Um, I think a lot of um Yandere's are don't really intend to murder anybody, um, unless it's like extreme. But you know, that's just me. I could be wrong. If if they if they actually kill people and they actually like it, then they they are no longer Yandere. They're more like Yagiri or whatever you want to call it. Um, yeah. When I heard the little sister's voice i was like what the fuck yeah okay so um shadow he, she's pretty cool um I, I i didn't really tell her what kind of voice well i told her to do a lowly voice so i think that's partially my fault because it turned out that way because i told her to do a lowly voice but um i i guess um she's no notorious for her lowly voice so you know my Yandere story, it's so scary. Be warned. On Jan July 20, 2018, I listened to an ASMR. So cruel. Uh, sure? I don't know. Thanks to God, I am not named Steven. <laughs> yeah. R.I.P. for a rip to all Stevens out there. So, yeah. It's at this point I knew, I just freaking knew. She is, n she is nobody I want to have as a friend. Um, hmm. I can't, don't really know what she, he's referring. I'm pretty sure she he's referring to the um, Miss Page. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what friend she um, they're t talking to about. Uh, Nathaniel says, "Great cover, awesome, thanks, man." Uh, all I'm wondering is what the f is space standing? What? Okay, so if you guys haven't listened to Space Dandy, Space Dandy is a pretty good anime. I highly recommend you watch it. So, it's really fun if you like Cowboy Bebop or any of that kind of shows it. It's pretty good. Uh, you can't be attacked by Yonder if you are a Yonder. Oh, snap. That's very true. Well, actually, it doesn't. I don't think it matters whether you are one or if not. Because if a Yonder likes you and you're a Yonder too... Technically, uh, you can still be attacked by Yandere, even except you are Yandere, so I guess it doesn't matter. I don't know. I don't know how that logic would work. Uh, let's see. What's it get? This guy is um, Proxy Man. He wrote something very long, so let's see. Um, this is an interesting choice of a cover indeed. It sounds cool. Speaking of covers, you should do one for the latest opening on Nanatsu no... Taizai Imashimi Fukatsu. Um, one up. Pretty much cool instrumental for that. I have no idea. I've never seen that show. Usually when I do colors, my um, my thing is that if I've 
let, if I actually watched the show and I got into it and I really liked the opening song, I, I do a cover on it. If I'd never seen the show or, you know, I remotely even know what it is, it's very unlikely that I will ever uh, do a cover for that unless someone like, give me that money <laughs> for it. So, yeah. Guilford says, Spice Dundi des. Yeah, that's very, very, very Japanese. Uh, let's see. When you have no female voice actors and put your cat. <laughs> uh, I feel so, f I feel so bad for Shadow because everyone's like saying that her voice sucks or it's cringe and shit like that. I mean, I get where they're coming from. I mean, it's kind of, you know, it's, it's, it's a little, um, unbearable sometimes, but I think it was pretty fun that she, the way she, you know, portrayed the little sister Loli. It's, I think she portrayed it too well. I don't know. I don't know if that would, that's the right word to say, but you know, I think, I think she did a really good job on it and it, it brings some character to it. You know, you don't want it to sound like it, a generic, um, person or whatever, it, you know, this baby person right here says, yeah, I always thought of the poison being fake. Also, why not just knock her out with the bat and call the police to arrest her? You know, you could do that. That's why I added the um, other alternative route, um, route B, I think. Yeah, no, he was going through route A. So obviously, I don't know, that didn't work. Uh, you could, I guess you could knock her out, but I don't know, man. Like if you're, if you ever like, uh, let's see if you're, if you're so mad at somebody, like, I don't know, they, especially if it's a serial killer that killed all your family members and stuff like that, you're going to go to the extreme to make sure nothing else happens to anybody else. I mean, you could put them in prison, but you know, they could escape. They could get like off with a warning or like probation or something like that because you know, they're a girl and stuff. And if they weep and fake their cry and stuff like that, you know, they could get it get a short sentence especially in japan because i know in japan females usually get the um the light they don't get as as punished as men do because you know sexism <laughs> you know because japan is very sexist uh, from what i've seen so but you know it's it's what it is what it is episode 10 is lit says kion gamer unleashed thanks man dude I really appreciate that you like that. Uh, let's see. Yonder girl in the thumbnails, Loki waifu material to keep on practicing to be in Funimation or Sentai. You may work with the stepmom, Monica Rail. With my stepmom, Monica Rail. Low-key waifu material and keep on practicing to be in Funimation. Uh, his, your sentence structure, dude, is kind of weird, but I, I get what you're trying to say. Um, if I keep practicing at it, I could be in, in Sentai Filmworks or Funimation. And, dude, honestly, that would be super cool if I actually got in to be a voice actor in Funimation or, you know, Sentai Filmworks. Uh, it's very unlikely that'll ever happen, considering that there's already a lot of anti-tubers. Or I guess that's what they call themselves, anti-tuber, anime YouTubers. Um, who actually get gigs to be in Funimation and all that kind of stuff. And it's really cool. I wish I could be part of them, but, you know, it's really hard considering that, you know, there's just so many other good voice actors that try to make into the voice acting industry, and, you know, it's really difficult. But, you know, it's, it is what it is, I guess. Well, let's see what other people say. Hmm, my childhood is ruined now. I don't want to be a GT student, and I always the number one student. Oh, hell no. <laughs> yeah, I'm glad I can ruin your school career right there. No, I'm just kidding, dude. Um, just remember, guys, this, these stories aren't real. I, a lot of people are disappointed because they're not real. Um, I mean, I kind of understand that you want, you want, like, a real story to be, like, Ooh, really cool! Like, oh my god, this actually happened to this person, or yeah, a lot, a lot, a lot. But honestly, it's a good thing that these things don't actually happen, like to this extreme. Um, when I, when I uh, do the Yandere stories, um, I try to make it as unrealistic as possible, so it doesn't seem too realistic, but at the same time, not unrealistic to a point where you, it's just like, oh, this is a bunch of BS, which. 
you know, I, I want you to be engrossed in the story and, you know, and that, and that kind of stuff. Uh, so if I make it too unrealistic, you know, people are going to be off or, you know, or, you know, I don't know. I don't know. Something like that. But yeah, it, it's, um, you shouldn't take it literally, the story. They're all fake, guys. I, I've already said this too many times. Uh, but you know, it's, I guess, I guess it's okay to leave, to leave some people hanging when it comes to these kind of, so they learn that, uh, you should really watch out for people, for people like that are mentally, you know, unstable like this, but you know, that's just me, whatever. Am I the only one that got turned on? <laughs> uh, yeah, Sailor, she's a really good voice actor, and she does a lot of, you know, wink, wink, stuff like that um, in terms of audio, role play, and stuff like that, which is pretty cool. It's pretty cool because you don't see a lot of people doing that. And it, there's some market for that. And, you know, she's smart for doing that kind of stuff. So yeah, good on you, Miss Sailor Spin. <laughs> So your voice compared to your yonder voice. Let's talk about that. Yeah, a lot of people are surprised, apparently, for my regular voice compared to the my yonder voice. My yonder voice where... Oh my. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> that, was, that was kind of... That was kind of creepy, dude. So, uh, yeah, that's... I don't know, dude. Like... Uh, I try to make it my voice as different as my usual voice, so it does. So, you know, there's some character behind it, so it doesn't sound like weird or anything. I don't know. I think my vo my regular voice sounds weird. If I try to do a, a yonder voice with my voice, it's like, nah, it's not gonna work. So I try to, you know, make it more smooth, the voice more smoothly, and you know, more attractive in a way. So a lot of so the girls that actually listen to my yonder boy series like. They're like, oh my god, your voice is so hot. And, <laughs> and they're like, oh, all that kind of crap. But you know, it's whatever. Uh, yeah, I'm just, uh, I'm just stroking my own ego at this point. I'm just kidding. I don't, I don't know, guys. Uh, let's see, FBI, open up. <laughs> I've been getting a lot of those comments. Um, FBI, open up. Because the um, little sister um, yonder episode, but you know that's fine. That's pretty funny. Uh, let's see, what's a good Miss Page had it coming? Yeah, I mean, at this point, after doing so many yonder episodes, you know, you you, you kind of figure out how the pattern behind it. Um, not to spoil, you know, how everything is going to go. I'm gonna actually going to try to surprise you guys with something new so that you've never, you're going to be unexpected. You're going to be like, whoa, this, there, I thought this was going to happen, but actually this happened. It's like, whoa, this is so cool. Yeah, I kind of want that kind of reaction from you guys. It'd be pretty cool to have that kind of reaction or, you know, see that kind of reaction from you guys. Uh, let's see. Spius here says, if you're as insane as me, if that B ever did that, I would have been like, nope, at least I don't have to deal with you. But, you know, I'm dying until I, I see you die. You would have been dead in two seconds. Trust me if... Oh, yeah, okay, so this guy is pretty much saying, oh, I can take you on. I can take Yonder on. You know, there's a lot of people that say that, that they can take on a Yonder. And honestly, some of you guys probably can. But if... Literally, so a Yonder the way I see it is that they're prepared to die at that point. And once they start killing, it's like you, 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 um, what, what did Lelouch said from Code Geass? It says, um, prepare to be ki kill and prepare to be killed or something. Something like that. Around those lines, I don't know. And they're pretty much prepared, so they're gonna make sure they're, f they're alive no matter who, who they're going against, whether it's a cop or someone with a gun or I don't know, it doesn't matter how strong you are. They're going to find their ways, it, whether it's like injecting poison in you, uh, make, I don't know, using gas, poison gas or something, or I don't know. It's like, it's all, like, almost impossible to, to beat a Yonder with that like actual, you know, training of some sort because, you know, Yonders are pretty smart when it comes to that kind of stuff. So and you're going to have to be very agile to like actually beat them. So, yeah. Oh, you're crying. I'm sorry. 
I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Uh, everyone's just like, oh my god, this is great. It's like, all that kind of stuff, but yeah. I hope you guys enjoy this, um, my reaction kind of thing. Um, hopefully, I'm probably gonna do some more. I, I have like sh loads, sh loads of comments to go through to read. I do read them whenever I do get a, a notification. I do make sure to read them, so don't worry, guys. I, I do read them. Um, but yeah, sometimes I just don't like it or put a heart or anything like that because, you know, you know, it, 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 it's just like one of those things where like, uh, that's, that's pretty funny to, if, if it makes me laugh or something, I'm definitely going to heart it or something like that. Or if you're first to my video, I'm definitely going to like it or so like that. But usually I, I just like read them, skim it real quick, then move on to the next one just, and that kind of stuff. But yeah. I really do appreciate your guys' comments and your feedback and oh, whether you like it or not and tell me what you expect next or whatever. Or what do you want to see next, you know? I know everyone here on my channel is here for my Yandere videos and, you know, that's totally fine. I, I don't blame you. But, you know, I, I try to mix it up a little bit here and there. So I hope you guys stay around for my for new content and, you know, for more of those Yandere videos. <laughs> yeah. That was weird of me to do, but yeah. Uh, thanks for coming. Or th coming? What? <laughs> what? I mean, thanks for watching, guys. And I hope you guys have a great day. Um, as always, thanks for watching. Peace.